Okay, let me give you some more examples. Um, suppose you're given this one here. Okay, um, re remember, we, we, are, we are not working with angles. Um, if, if, you, if you're given an angle and then you've got to work out the length, then, 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 you've, got, then, then you've got to use trigonometry. But we are not working with angles. We, we are not trying to find out theta. So we've got to use Pythagoras. We, we, we are given two lengths here, and we want to find out the third length. Nothing, there's no angle involved. So we know we have to use Pythagoras. Um, remember, Pythagoras only works if it's a right angle triangle, just like trigonometry. Well, anyway, Pythagoras is uh, the longest length, the hypotenuse here, is, is always on its own. So it will be x squared equals, uh, get this, squared, so 5 squared plus this squared, so uh, 7 squared. Okay, or, or you can do this, x squared equals uh, 7 squared plus Five squared. It, it'd be the same thing, okay? So um, the, this bubble here will become 25. Uh, this bubble here will become 49, okay? Uh, this stays the same, x squared. And now add the two together. You're trying to work out x. So this would be uh, 74. Uh, this would be x squared. Now square root both sides. So you uh, you will have jump to a calculator. So you're, you're square rooting both sides. Hang on. Uh, 74, uh, 74 square root here. Uh, it will be 8.60. Uh, 8.60. Okay. So uh, x equals this. So this must be 8.60. Because we're working meters, meters, then the answer would be meters. So it's 8.60 meters. Okay. Next example here. Um, again, no angle involved, so um, so we are not working with trigonometry. We we need Pythagoras. So with Pythagoras, the longest side is always on its own. The hypotenuse here is always on its own. So it will be eight squared equals um, you could x squared here on, equals x squared plus uh, this here squared. So plus this. You're trying to work x, work out x. You're trying to get x on its own. So, um, so at the moment you've got this and this bubble here. Let's kill off this bubble here. So, oh, wait, wait there. Sorry. Let, let, let me let me tidy tidy this up. So, eight squared is sixty-four. Uh, x squared uh, plus forty-nine. Okay. Now, uh, take away take away forty-nine from both sides. So it will be sixty-four. Take away 49. So uh, uh, 5 carry the 1. Uh, this will be 5, 1. So 15. Okay. So so when you're here, take away 49 from both sides. So it will be 15 equals x squared. Now square root both sides. So um, so basically square root both sides. So this will become um, jump to a calculator. Uh, square root 15, so 15, and then square root it, it will be 3.87, 3.87, so x here, <coughs> x here will be 3.87, because we're working centimeters, centimeters, this must be centimeters, okay, um, oh, no point in having meters here, and then centimeters down here, the, the two have to be the same in, in order for this to work. So you can't have eight meters and seven centimeters down here. The two units have to be the same. Well, anyway, this length here is, uh, is 3.87 centimeters. Okay, next example here. Um, uh, you, re remember, hypotenuse is always on its own. So x, uh, sorry, so, so eight squared equals, uh, this squared plus this squared x squared okay now this this here becomes 80 uh 64 and this here becomes 9 plus well it stays the same this this thing here stays the same um so now take away 9 from both sides so it'd be 55 on this side it will be this now square root both sides so x so square root both sides, hang on, square root 55, 
uh, 55 square root it uh, 7.42 7.42 so when, when you're here inside your mind square root both sides so it will become this okay so x here this is x here must be 7.42 centimeters centimeters so this must be centimeters okay so x equals 7.42 centimeters okay this one here again um, the hypotenuse is always on its own so this one here would be 10 squared equals um, equals x squared okay um, plus uh, 8 squared plus 8 8 squared so this would become 100 uh, x squared plus 64 okay because this here is your 64 um, now take away 64 from both sides so it would be 36 here uh, x squared now uh, square root both sides uh, 6 times 6 is 36 so when, when you're here inside your mind square root both sides so you have this so x equals 6 so this must be 6 now this is meters meters so this must be meters so it would be 6 meters okay this one here again um, the hypotenuse is always on its own this is the hypotenuse here the longest side so x squared equals uh, uh, 8 squared plus this here plus uh, 6 squared so always keep an eye on x x is what you're trying to get on its own so um, this this thing here would be uh, 64 this here would be uh, would be 36 um, so uh, so uh, so so now merge the two together here so it would be uh, 100 on this side this side this now square root both sides so x equals 10 times 10 is 100 so this here must be 100 uh, sorry uh, th this x equals 10 so x here must be 10 so 10 here is x okay so so this length here is 10 centimeters because look centimeters 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 okay just just remember that the uh, the longer side is always on its own so it's always on the left hand side on its own and then you square you square the uh, the other two sides okay